What's up fellow lords of gaming and welcome back to another episode of Marvel Future Fight. So the day is here. I'm going to tee for Miles Morales and I'm really excited about it because Miles is absolutely powered the fuck out. Excuse my language, but he is Miles is definitely a character to behold. Um the the the, the content that he can clear for you is insane. I think and, and the crazy part about Miles is that he has probably one of the easiest rotations in the game that just feels really good. Now, there is one hiccup that I've had with playing my Miles Morales, and I watched some videos like Cynic, Alex and Beast Mode, and I don't see them doing it. So I'm thinking that maybe there might be something wrong with my rotation. But watching the rotations that they're doing, I really don't see it. But for some reason, I seem to be guard broken quite a bit when I run between my third and fifth abilities. But Miles has a very simple rotation. I will not deny that of my favorite characters that I currently have tier four, uh, Black Bolt is insanely way out there above the my favorite. Right, like he is. He is insanely easy to run and rotation has a really simple proc trigger for him and he deals a shite toad load he just does a ton of damage right miles is just like that whereas compared to like other t4s and spider-man hulk and even thor they have some quirkinesses about their rotation thanos is pretty good with his rotation um they have some quirkiness about their rotation miles is just pretty straightforward it's pretty simple and direct so let's take a look at this so first off i want to show you what the character looks like inside of here geared out um i did put some um uh I did put some, uh, excuse me, some Odin's blessings on him um, because, I, like I said, I am a fan of the character. I'm loving the uniform, skills uh, maxed out, obviously, and then his type. I haven't been able to max out just quite yet. I will do that when I get there. Eso eights, power of angry Hulk. Um, no artifact, unfortunately. I'm like dying to acquire this artifact for Miles Morales, so it's putting me behind a little bit. But you know, if you were to go inside of his artifacts and look, his artifact, um, from what I believe, let me go back into the store. His artifact isn't a PVE artifact. His artifact is a PVP artifact. So, like, um, let's see if we can. Can we take a look at it? I know, I think we should be able to take a look at it. I'm always lost with the shop just because I don't really spend money in the shop like that. Like, yeah, I, I don't, it's not like my thing, right? So like, I don't spend a lot of, uh, spend a lot of money inside the artifact. I don't want the free artifact. I want the advanced artifact. So let's take a look at these inside here. Let's look for miles. Where are you miles? You should be in here. Ah, there we go. So this is Miles. It's not going to let me pull it up. <laughs> so it just won't let me pull up. But I do believe it is a um, it is a PVP artifact. I, I, I probably more than likely won't get the artifact, but it's what I'm running. Custom gear. I am running just a normal CTP of judgment. I haven't rolled uh, another CTP of judgment in order to try to try for this to be mighty or brilliant. Um, I am sitting on some other CTPs in here, as you can see, most of these refinements, the eggs and the um, patients, these have come by way of luck from dimension missions and same thing for my transcendence. Um, I haven't bought CTPs in a while. These are legitimately CTPs that were just gained from playing the game, right? Um, on his uniform, I have his uniform completely maxed out with, um, wait a minute, I don't think I have, uh, I don't have, um, wave completely maxed out yet. So I've got all of the, uh, what you call the others though, maxed out inside there. Like I said to you guys, it's so hard for me to tell you like miles uniform is a must buy, um, simply because he's powerful enough. If you just go back to his previous uniform, which was the anniversary special, if you had that uniform, you really don't. And the funny part about it is, is that there are a lot better options underneath his previous uniform that don't make this uniform as expensive as it is. I mean, Ebony Maw is an expensive option. You then go into Wave, it's an expensive option. Carnage is an expensive option. So it's like you see like there's an expense, this uniform is pretty expensive. So that is the expectation, especially for such a minute power upgrade from this, from the anniversary uniform to the across the Spider-Verse uniform. And if you've seen the movie, spoilers, one, two, three, uh, there's probably going to be a part two to not probably there's going to be a part two to across the Spider-Verse. So therefore, 
we might end up seeing another uniform within the year for uh from miles but overall the dude is absolutely a beast and a wrecking ball i have the majority of his stats maxed out inside of here um you can see that over there and i've pretty much exceeded his stats fairly easily with most of the uh equipment inside here so you can't really complain about the character overall looking at his skills and his passives we get the uh, super villain faction damage, so it's going to be really nice for him to fight any bosses, any type of PVE environments because of that. Um, then we got combat spins, uh, combat sense. So even fighting Null and some of the bosses uh, to ignore targets dodge rate, which is innately on the character and gets a basic decrease. He has a very simple skill rotation inside here. So there's like nothing really that you really need to do. It's a very, very simple skill rotation. 354, no delay, 6354, and 765354. So let's let's take a look at the skills. Like I said, really, really simple rotation. There's like three, five, four. How do I fail every single time the first time I do this? Three, five, four. There you go. It's like the slightest of ever delays for that fifth ability. And it's it's that that little slight delay between the three and five. Cause like you'll notice it's not a long delay, but it's like you see that? It's not a long delay, but it's like an ever slight delay. And I notice maybe for the way I'm running it or whatever I'm doing it, he seems to get guard broken in that. I'm not sure. But six, three, five, four. Really simple. Um, just count like the one Mississippi off in your head and then his third ability seven six three five four so seven six <clears throat> three five four I messed that whole rotation up because I coughed anyways so that's the, the simple rotation his skills and abilities with this uniform look absolutely amazing i think that you could probably switch out the ctp of judgment for a ctp of rage um i decided to stick with the ctp of judgment because if you look at his skills here you notice that there's lightning on pretty much all of his skills straight one through six lightning abilities on all of them so i wanted to be able to say like all right cool we, we we've got this we've got this going and pumping inside here now before I level him up, I wanted to jump inside of World Boss because today is Jean Grey Day. I did a video previously with the World Boss inside of here for Jean Grey. Again, I'm gonna repeat this so that way a lot of players are aware. There is no reason for you to go above level two for the difficulties, uh, for the rewards. The rewards that you get for the daily they are exactly the same at level two as they are going to be at level 68. Now, you may get lucky and along the way at the various stage points, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, you may get lucky with one of the world boss boxes and stuff like that, the booty boxes, you know, get your booty box and you may end up with something right inside of those. But really, I haven't seen it that much, not enough for me to tell players in general that they must absolutely spend the time to be, get sweaty matches and, and grind for them, especially if I can get the same rewards. So I typically tend to play on stage two and it's really disappointing because for spe specifically for, for Phoenix, for King the Conqueror and for Gore, these are like ramp ups from where Mephisto in Ultron and Null are in terms of their stages. You can see how often I've played Mephisto and Null. Um, I showed you in a previous video, King the Conqueror being able to be clapped by Miles pretty fairly easily. So it is what it is. So now Jean is definitely one of the more interesting bosses. And I think I, I completed her once with Miles, but I did run into some issues. So I had to take out Miles here, because uh, Spider-Man, because he's not really providing very much for the team at all. So we're gonna go with a support character. Um, I wanna throw Shuri inside there just because I am dying for Shuri to get her Black Panther uniform. I'm gonna keep saying it. She's also gonna provide that uh, super villain faction damage boost as well and decrease the damage reduction. Chasm, if you remember, he has the passive inside here that does uh, allies with spider sense. Um, he grants them the super villain faction damage and the superhero faction while giving bonus damages as well. When you build teams and you build characters that you are sure to say like, hey, I really, really like this character. These are some of the things that you should be considering when you build them. Like, 
hey, what is the character bonuses that I'm gonna get for this? I wanna know, like, should I be pairing these characters up with somebody specifically so that way I can get their benefits? Like some of these don't make sense, for instance, like Spider-Man's not giving any bonuses, but putting the three of them together gives you the devil's deal, but there's no real bonus there, right? Same thing for like these characters, you basically got one support character and then a bunch of DPS characters, so no real bonus there. So you're basically looking for what is the characters going to be most likely to give you bonuses overall inside here for miles i'm looking for support type characters to give me bonuses and there are not a lot of team bonuses in there so i'm really just going with the six character activation and then i'm relying on the supports from these two characters hopefully shuri ends up with that nice bonus to from a uniform that she should have got during black panther uh with her um what you call it? i don't really care about the allies the allies are what the allies are um but you know depending on what your builds are you may be concerned about those in terms of getting some of your ignored dodges and so forth so miles at level 80 against gene gray let's see what he can do on stage two and we'll basically go with the rotation three five four and he just absolutely melts her right like i mean melts and and to be honest with you i've seen beast mode we're all all pushed into the other stage that that was messed up that was messed up of them to do that like it was like I, it's one of the things i hate the most about um gene and no and um messed up that rotation it's one of the things i hate the most about gene and um gene who is it? Gene, uh, Gore, and uh, what you call specific? Oh no, I gotta redo that. Okay, it's one of the things that I hate the most about Gene and Gore and um, and Ultron is the phase which costs like they just no matter what you end up having to play that phase and just becomes like a pain in the ass. So you can see how like getting off that like three five four where Miles ends up getting like guard broken or you miss that little delay if you're just pressing really quickly um can affect how much damage he has out from there so like give that time for that weight because it, it does matter didn't get down to 30 on this one but it is what it is right so we got gene down into the next phase one two and like look most people you'll probably end up like i think you know you're gonna push into like stage nine at the very least before you know it becomes determined that you need some type of characters inside there but you know like other characters where it becomes like critical that you can't just use whatever characters you want and you have to specifically go after stage characters that you need and that could be problematic so you probably just won't push past beyond that, those levels so three five see it's what the hell it's like the weirdest thing with him it's like you miss that little bit of lapse and it's like boom she just went for the six but i know she goes into another stage where you just don't have a choice but to like ride that out so it like sucks overall right so we'll go six three i hate that like it's weird it's so simple most of the time but it's just like that some of that time where it's like it's I don't, yeah i don't know but this is level 80 miles miles morales so like i agree with like you know i think uh beast mode gaming had the best take on it right is that like at level 80 miles is going to clap most of the content that every other boss is clapping like he is going to take out most of the other most of the content that you have available in the game that's just the truth of it especially for pve he's just going to clap all of that content better than a lot of the other a lot of the other tier fours especially a lot of the other speed tier fours so you don't almost end so he's almost a victim of his own success where you don't really need to tear for him but at the same token why would you not tear for him right get those extra little bit bit, bit of power inside there and roll with it right so now i don't need to show you miles doing tier four giant boss raid or tier three giant boss raid at level 80 because you know he's gonna clap that um and you know he's gonna clap the witcher call it as well but i want to advance him before i go into giant boss raid mostly out of like self-preservation because i know what's going to end up happening is that you know you if i bring in a level 80 miles morales inside of giant boss raid most of the people are probably gonna be like i don't want to do this and they're gonna kick you because they want to see the tier four so it just 
it is what it is. So I'm just going to increase, increase him to tier four so we can go into that content without it being kicked. And then you can see me compared to whomever's in there. Now, truth to lending. I think there's a lot of players who end up jumping in and they get tier four characters, but they seem to not know what the fuck to do with their tier fours. That's just the absolute truth. So for the bosses inside here, for, for what these are, I tend to just choose whichever one is going. So I need to adjust this character. Where are they? Okay, so we got Sentry. I need a good justice character. Like Sentry's the only one that was there so far. And he's probably gonna be giving me the biggest bonus because I don't think I have another justice character in here. I don't think I can set Shuri as his level 80. Um You know what? We'll go with I want to do thematically for this. We're gonna go with uh Blue Marvel. I am waiting for the day that they give uh so that's not the that's not a complete max out for for what it is. So you're you're essentially looking for a justice character and you want to prefer to have like that full max out inside of there. Um, but it doesn't look like I have it. I think Ant-Man probably would be the character, but I don't have him at tier level 80. So that might be incentive to get him maxed out. It would be awesome if Black Panther had a tier four or, you know, so that way I can max him out. But these are the justice characters that I have, and I don't have any level 80, uh, tier four. Damn, justice characters. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go back into my wheelhouse and look at who can possibly get there. Uh, for now, we have to go with what we got, right? So it is what it is. I'm, I'm seeing some detriments there. So tier four, Miles Morales. I'm really excited about this character overall. Let's jump right into Giant Boss Raid because these are the two pieces of content. I think that if you're a normal player, you're playing on a day-to-day -day basis or you should be playing on a day-to-day -day basis in order to accelerate your account. World Boss, World Boss Ultimate uh, Legend, excuse me, and... Um, and then obviously giant boss rate. If you're not playing those game modes, then you're really missing out on rewards and the ability to level up your characters. So trust me, it is an area that you really, really want to uh, that you really want to jump in. Now, I'm going to recharge some boost points aside here just because like I don't want to I don't want to do uh, a bunch of giant boss rate today. So <laughs> like that's the truth of it. Um, I'm going to jump on and play some COD here in a minute and then probably play some Diablo later. So I don't really want to be. I want to be inundated. <laughs> the best way I could say it. I don't want to be like I don't want my time wasted with uh, giant boss rate too much. So, OK, so we got a spot and we got a Thor inside here. We'll roll with that team. I'm surprised he's keeping or letting uh, Spot and Scorpius stick around, <laughs> but it is what it is. So now we can see what the damage is. I'll put this up, even though it'll mess up the bar in here. It's for you to see it, but that way you can see as I'm going through my attack rotations and stuff like that, how much damage he's doing. We don't really have too much competition inside here for three, five, and then four. Let's melt the bars. Going through. Not even looking at the screen properly. Three, five, and then four. Rotate through. Okay, Kazuki is doing some damage inside here now. Thank God. Then we roll back here. Looks like Kazuki stuck around. And let's see. Why is he just standing there? So we're going to go seven, six, three, five, and then four. I just did it just so that way I can get the damage off so that I can stay in the top because I don't want to be the person teleported. I don't even want the chance because Alex looked like he's going to end up getting screwed and teleported. Three, five, four. Okay. Seven, six, three, five, four. Ooh, come on, Miles. Oh, shit, I'm about to get hit by the flames. Damn, that took some serious health off of Miles. It's so cool to see how often his Witcher Call is coming back up inside here. Miles took a hit there. Like, that was a lot of damage. Seven. And see, he got teleported because Alex is not in here doing what he's supposed to do. 
It's the reason why a lot of players who just have that aren't getting, they get kicked out because like that is annoying as hell to be dealing with that rotate, that, yeah, it's just annoying. Oh, 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 nope, I'm gonna give it up to Kazuki. All right, we'll give it up completely. What? Like, Alex is dead already, and not for any good reason either. That's the funny part about it. Shit, get out of there, Miles. Seven, six, three, five. Put that work in. Nope, get out of there. I hate that. Why is it tracking me? Kazuki's doing better damage than I am. Three, five, four. I mean, we're battling back and forth. Oh, how did he get killed? No. All right, I'm going to have to rerun that. I am going to have to rerun that because I don't think... That blue, blue ass. That totally blue ass. I can't believe that Miles got smacked like that on the one shot. He. Yeah. Reasons to have to run that HP up, though. Am I sure he's not built at all? Shuri is not built at all. Damn, it is what it is. But you can see Miles is going to be one of those characters that is going to be able to be suitable for you for both um, tier 3, tier 4, level 80 tier 3, level 70 tier 3. I think he's probably, in my opinion, one of the better characters in the game overall. Um, so I think there's a lot of feasibility there in having him. The other good part about Miles, you getting to tier 4 Miles right now, is that while we know Spider-Gwen is coming and that she's going to probably end up with her tier 4 as well, we got a little bit of a pause because Sabretooth and um, Sabretooth and Wolverine recently got announced as getting their tier fours and tier threes in the mid month. I really wish they would stop doing that shit. It's really annoying and they just give us one thematic update because it's the reason why like Shuri, for instance, is not, how is it that we don't have a Riri Williams or Shuri uniform for the uniforms that they got? We didn't get the introduction of a Koye. Like there's so much wrong with the way they're rolling out these updates and uh, proceeding with the mid months. It's just terrible. So overall, my impressions of Mal is I think that he's one of the more solid characters in the game. And I'm saying that from the perspective of like a player who's I haven't tier four every single character that that's come out. But what I like in the miles too is that there's a simple rotation to the character, simple uh, survivability to the character, um, a simple rotation to the character that makes him easy to access for majority of players. The only other characters that I've played where that seems to be the case is Black Bolt and Thanos. Like Thanos' rotation is very straightforward, very simple. Uh, Hulk's was that before, but they've decreased his power value so much that it's like, it's mystifying. He was a great character when he was initially released and he was just clearing all sorts of content and it was great. It was finally like, hey, I have a character that I can use inside of PVE and not have the concern about this in PVP. But now he's pretty much going to a PVP character. But Thanos... Black Bolt and um, Miles are definitely on my top of the list. Thor is definitely one of my favorite characters in the entire of the uh, Marvel Universe, right? But the problem with Thor is he has a very wonky rotation in terms of like overall power output with his delay, uh, with his cooldown times on his skills and stuff like that. Um, you know, Iron Man gets interrupted a lot. Jean Grey is really just a PvP character. Adam Warlock is... He's not necessarily a regretful character that I've leveled up, but he's become a character that I'm not like I'm not like so excited that I leveled up. Is essentially the best way to say it. Um, like I might end up taking a CTP of Rage off him because I don't really use him inside PVE, and I'll probably put something something PV, PVP related on him. So it's that. Now, I was really disappointed because I did watch a video recently. I want to finish out the video by talking about PVP. 
I did watch a video the other day where Cynic Alex tried to build a Spider-Verse team inside of here and it was just disappointing, right? It was disappointing. I think he felt disappointed. I think a lot of the players probably felt disappointed, right? Um, it just is what it is. You know what I mean? Like there's not a whole lot with the season coming to an end. We're going to be able to see what some of the updates look like there, though. I don't imagine it to be anything grand. Like, um, I just don't imagine anything to be grand inside of here. So like it's, it, but this boils down into another area of like, are you ever going to be at the top of this list for candidacy inside here? I don't think the majority of players who are watching these videos and just, you know, not steamrolling their, their wallets are going to be those type of players. And it just is what it is, right? It's the same thing like timeline battle, right? There's no real reason for you to necessarily push the content inside here. Like, I don't think Miles is going to be one of those characters that is going to appear in your tops of the list to look at like, hey, these are the characters that are people are using. Like, there's n I don't think there's going to be a place in here where you're going to essentially be looking at this and being like, these are the characters that are being used for for your seasonal play. Like Miles just doesn't seem like he fits in there, but he definitely seemed like he fits squarely with inside the PVP content, uh, excuse me, the PVE content. And he's gonna be really great at PVE content. And I think that's where the majority of the player base is gonna be focused. And if you've got a wallet, then you don't care. You're you don't care about my opinion. You're gonna P, you're gonna tier four miles because you're gonna tier four miles. It just is what it is. So like I think overall, like Miles is is definitely gonna be one of your more powerful speed-based characters. He definitely has a simple rotation. He's definitely very, very player friendly to play. Um, he's got very, very high feasibility across all of the PVE content and to push very high levels inside multiple of the areas for uh, World Boss Legend. Regardless, I've already done him with King. I've done him with Null. I've done him with every other character inside the game. Maybe I'll do some videos for that and we'll see where it goes. But I'm really, really excited about Miles Morales almost as, as excited as I was when they announced the uni new uniform for Black for Black Bolt because there was no way in my mind that I thought that Black Bolt was going to get a uniform and be as good as he is and he still seems to be holding on and doing really really well for uh players that are that have chosen him anyway. So I'm really really excited by it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Until next time. Peace.